YouTube fans and viewers, welcome to my six month update. Six month hair update that is. So this is what my hair looks like underneath the wig that you have seen so far. This is what it is. Okay? So, um, how do we get started? I got off by detangling my hair like most of us do. But this is what I use. I use Dark and Lovely Own Natural Anti Shrinkage, and it's called um, specifically called Not Out Conditioner. I use this pretty much every time I have to detangle my hair because it does a really good job of loosening the hair after it's been, you know, braided or twisted for an extended period of time. And of course, you know that can create some serious tangles, and my hair is tangle prone. So when I put this in, it does miracles. Right, so um, I put it in. This is what it looks like a very nice, thick consistency, and yeah, you just kind of you run it through your hair like that, let it sit in for a little while, and then you start using um, a wide tooth comb to detangle it. So, this is what I do, and as you can see. It comes right through very easy, very, very easily. No issues with it. So this is a really good product to use. I would recommend it to um, anyone who is going natural, anyone who has um, coarser or you know very tangled or tangled prone hair. Definitely use this. Don't attempt to comb through your hair um, without using a detangler because you'll have a lot of issues. I'm going to go and do that in a sec, so I'll see you in a few. This is my hair freshly washed, <laughs> still dripping on my face. Um, so yeah, kind of tease through it with my fingers, play with it, you know what I mean. Um, yeah, so the length, so you know how kinky, coily hair works, it's, the shrinkage is real. I haven't pressed it, I don't intend on pressing it until it's one year anniversary. I think I should really give my hair a break from the heat. Especially, you know, since you know, I was wearing weaves for a while and like my leave out was constantly being pressed over and over and over and over. And I'm just trying to start the journey properly. So like if it's natural, I feel like just keeping it as natural as possible would be good, especially with the, within the first year. So yeah, I won't be putting any heat to it, not even the blow dryer has touched it since it's been cut in June and I don't intend on using a blow dryer until June and I'll see how long it is and I'll definitely show you guys my 12 month anniversary um, um so yeah this is how long it is my mom um, how she used to um, basically check the length of our hair she used to use like a tail comb the same one that we used to comb through to tangle whatever you use it for um, she uses the tail comb, and what she does, she puts the base of the tail comb in the middle of her head, and then she'll basically stretch out the hair. So that's what she does. And that's kind of how you see the progress of your growth. And especially the sides. The sides were shaved off completely to the point where you could see my scalp. And they are... Clearly, they've grown in really, really well. And just like to, I need to comb through it because it's a bit, you know, it's all over the place. So I do another comb through. Another indicator um, of growth was um, is looking at the roots. You can see um, the new growth. You see the the black. My hair is really dark, almost borderlining black. Um, but before, when I cut my hair, I 
I dyed it and I did highlights as you can see on the top. It was brushed on the top. So when I look at the roots, I can see how much new growth, well, roughly how much new growth um, has occurred over the, the, the past few months. This is what it looks like wet. And what I do next is um, I will apply my conditioner. So that's the one and only Argan Oil Conditioner I've been using for the past few months. Sometimes I add another conditioner with it. Today I choose to um, use the Elasta QP Argan Oil along with this oil that I've been using, the one and only. So, consistency. This is what it looks like. Like most conditioners, you find that they're usually thick and creamy. So I'm just going to apply that to my hair. And I usually put a lot because you want to saturate. You want to make sure every last strand gets a bit of this good stuff. You don't want any strand to go untouched. <laughs> Alright, so I just massage it through your head. Don't use your nails. That would cause irritation to your fingertips. scalp. Use your fingertips, that's right. So use your fingertips to massage the moisturizer, the conditioner, whatever you're massaging into your head. It actually um, helps with blood flow as well. When you rub on the scalp like that, it increases blood flow. And blood flow is life. And life means hair growth. Okay, now I'm adding the argan oil. It's almost done. This one's even heavier. As you can see, this looks like mayonnaise right now. Custard. Thick. Yep, I use a lot. Why? I want my hair to be as moist as possible, especially when it's color, um, color treated. And you use dye or bleach or whatever. You definitely want to make sure that the hair is as moist as possible. You want to keep it moist even after it's been washed. So this is what it looks like. Um, curl definition. It's hard to see with this blonde hair sometimes. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. And I just let the conditioner sit in for, it depends. It depends on how I, f how I feel, what I have to do. I just let it sit in. Sometimes you can put a shower cap on. Heat has a way of, you know, allowing the, the moisture to seep into the pores and you get a really good um, conditioning that way. Well, um, the conditioner is still sitting in my hair. But in the meantime, I just want to talk about my hair journey while it sits in my hair. Um, so it all started off, um, was, was it, yeah, last year, um, I, around the time I was getting married, my mom was making the suggestion, you know, Leah, just texturize your hair, you know, it'll be easier, it'll be manageable. And plus, you know, she had a, a she played a big role in, in my hair care because she was a hairdresser and of course, um, she had more insight as to how to take care of it, so I left that up to her. But of course, transitioning from living in the house and, and moving out and being married and I didn't really have too much experience with my hair because I left it up to her for so many years. She was really nervous about that and so I just took her advice after a lot of um, no's and I'm not doing it and whatever. I just said fine. So I did it and um, it was the worst mistake in my life. <laughs> uh, hair, like the worst hair decision I've made. So I did that and I noticed it was just ruining my hair. My hair was stringy, it was damaged, it was dry. I went on my honeymoon, it was like a big balloon on my head. I'm like, my hair, my natural hair doesn't even do this. Why is, what is this doing? So, um, fast forward, months go by, um, and this isn't, yeah, so I'm just contemplating the decision. Should I cut it? Should I not cut it? I made mention, I'm like, yeah, mom, I'm cutting my hair. And she's like, no, no, don't do it. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do it at some point. And so, randomly, I guess, I couldn't take it anymore. June came around, and I'm like, I'm going to get this done now. And so, um, a few people that I go to church with, I saw people cutting their hair, and, you know, it looked pretty good. And I thought, this could be doable. So I got some suggestions, and... Um, I found 
Akina Morgan. You can find her information down at the in the description. You can find her information in the description box below. Um, she was referred to me by Susan McDonald, who also has hair products that I've used in the past, and I will put her information down in the description as well. So, um, yeah, I went and got my hair cut. I'm going to show you some pictures. Um, and, yeah, that's pretty much how it went. It was just, it was so quick, like, and I didn't miss my hair after that. I just, I was just happy to start over. And this is where I'm at. Okay, these are the products that I used today. First off, I started with the Dark and Lovely Au Natural Anti-Shrinkage. And it comes with mango oil and bamboo milk in it. I'm trying to get a clear view. So it's called Not Out Conditioner. And you'll see what it looks like in my hair before I get started with the washing. And what I'll be using next, Calling All Curls. It's called Diva Curl Low Poo. And it's okay, like, you know, it does the job. I'm not going to say it's phenomenal. It was given to me when I first cut my hair. It was a suggestion. So I just, you know, I'm just using it till it's finished, pretty much. Next, As I Am Cleansing Pudding. And this one is sulfate-free. Uh, along with the other products that I'm using. This one's sulfate free and it's a moisturizing cleanser so it comes out like a creamy consistency and it does a really good job with detangling. It leaves the hair really nice and soft. So I really like this product a lot more. Next, after I've lathered up, I typically use this conditioner right here. It's called One and Only Argan Oil. It's derived from Moroccan argan trees. It's a moisture repair conditioner as you can read right here. Also sulfate, phosphate, and paraben free. So this is a really really nice conditioner. It detangles really well and so that's why I use it. And finally just for today I'm using this Elasta QP Argan Oil Soy deep conditioner. Very, very nice in the hair. It keeps it very sleek and soft when you're detangling and leaves the hair moisturized.